What is Lin? This is the Catholic Q&A and today's question is, what is Lent? Lent is the 40 days before Easter in which Catholics pray, fast, contemplate, and engage in acts of spiritual self-discipline. Catholics do these things because Easter, which celebrates the resurrection of Christ, is the greatest holy day of the Christian year, even above Christmas. And Catholics have recognized that it is appropriate to prepare for the most important day of the year by engaging in such disciplines. Normally, Catholics choose something to give up for 40 days, maybe TV or social media or chocolate, and they should also choose something to engage in, such as giving money to charity, volunteering at the food bank, or praying for an hour a day. Every Friday of Lent, Catholics abstain from meat and eat fish instead. But why? Well. It was customary in the Old Testament to mourn someone's death or express anguish over some tragic event by wearing a sackcloth, fasting, and putting ashes on one's head. That is why Catholics start the Lenten season with Ash Wednesday. This Jewish tradition was simply carried over into Christianity because there is no need to get rid of good, pious practices. So, since we are mourning the death of Christ until he rises again on Easter morning, we should give up some pleasures. It is fitting to properly mourn the king of the universe. Wouldn't you agree? But why 40 days? We don't know for sure, but here are some reasons why early Christians might have settled on a 40 day fast before Easter. It rained for 40 days during the flood. Moses was on the mountain with God for 40 days. Christ fasted 40 days in the desert after his baptism. Christ laid 40 hours in the tomb, and lastly, Christ appeared to his disciples for 40 days after his resurrection. Wow! That's a lot of 40, and I didn't even mention all the instances of 40 in the Bible. So what is Lent? Lent is the period of 40 days before Easter. Catholics keep the ancient practice of putting ashes on one's head on Ash Wednesday and giving up certain pleasures. They also spend this time to pray and contemplate the meaning of Christ's death and resurrection. But really, it is a good and pious practice for any Christian. So what have you decided to give up this Lent? What penance are you going to engage in? And how will you commemorate our blessed Lord's passion, death, and resurrection? Leave your comments and questions below. Hit thumbs up if you like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. This was the Catholic Q&A, and we hope to see you next time. Until then, stay holy, my friends.